This is the Bruni Cole window motor running with just one trigger, one trigger magnet. Built big enough so that you can see the internal workings of it. This is the actual timing mechanism. You can see just one magnet going around and it's alternating switching poles because on the window motor you have north and south poles all the way around it. And we're using once again just one winding. And here's the only level that we can get out of the motor uh, for recharge. But it's not good enough uh, to charge a secondary battery. And I'm going to do that in a second here. I'm going to put a secondary battery here. And what I want to say is this battery recovered all by itself to 1275 after the negative charging. And now what we're trying to do is charge it with the back EMF. And we can see here that the back EMF is incapable of charging the battery, otherwise it'd be moving upward. And it's not. So what's this? signal actually look like. And it's a very efficient motor. Um, and we're just running it on one trigger. Now who is Cole? Uh, Cole is a partner of mine that, uh, that I knew from the audio days in our uh, amplifier company. And so Ron Cole and myself developed these motors from a little prototype that I had. And uh, Cole actually developed all the switching for the motor. But as you can see here, Cole calls it counter electromagnetic force. And you can see here, this isn't like the monopole at all. And that the back EMF is much lower than what the actual uh, these are the two poles switching. See, north and south. And then this, these, this is the back EMF that you're recovering in between. And so it's way below the battery voltage. So therefore, if you turn around and you look at this battery on the meter, it has a, it won't move. It, it's going to move. There's not enough there to keep recovering. What, what the battery is doing is, from the negative energy charge, it's recovering it itself that far. And this is the same battery we just... That's the same battery. We just used in the previous... We'll pull it out again and, and uh, we can pull the energy out of it again. And uh, you can see it's not moving up very good at all. And the other the, the other battery over there next to the meter is the, the scope is just the uh, trigger signal, right? Yeah, that's just the trigger signal and, the, and that's what you see right here. On, 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 on. And the back EMF, back EMF is in between here. Right. When it collapses, and you can see that when you use conventional circuitry, that you have you have just locked yourself in this loop. Yeah. And you can't get you can't get any energy out of this system, out of this coil. However, uh, moving moving towards the window motor. Uh, if you were to run this on a monopole circuit, you could recover all kinds of energy out of this. In fact, we may set that up and, and show that. Okay. Um, in a few, few minutes here. But uh, we just want you to pay close attention that you would be waiting forever for this. This battery has recharged itself without the aid of this motor. Right, since in the break that we took to yeah. set, set this experiment up. Right, which has been about what? Three minutes? Yeah. Four minutes. Okay, this battery just recovering itself from the negative energy charge. But it is totally useless. We'd have to have a three volt battery for this thing to do anything and then it would load down the motor because it wouldn't be able to... Uh... So what is the purpose of the, of the window motor then? Well, the, the window motor is, is a high torque motor and a very efficient motor. But it, I want to use it as an example here of showing that 
it's impossible when you have this closed loop system. All free energy systems are open to nature, meaning there's some place that 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 nature can put its energy into. This is incapable of doing that the way the circuitry is, it's closed loop. Right. So nothing can enter the system, nothing can get out of the system. As as you can see by this indication that you can't recharge the battery. You see my point? You yeah. have to have an open loop system, Tony. Yeah. You have to have an open loop system where you can't gather nature's energy.